Hi guys, uh, welcome to this new video. In the, um, this video I will show you how to uh, create a shape uh, using uh, uh, a keyer. Uh, thanks so much so guys for watching my tutorial. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing to this channel. I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial as well. I want to say hi to all the people from India that are watching my videos. Uh, I saw that you know there's a lot of people from India that are interested in this kind of subject so that's the reason why I'm doing this uh, uh, rotoscoping tutorial um, and uh, also I'm trying to bring more content uh, in this uh, uh, in this channel I hope you guys enjoy it so um, as you can see the shot that I will use to start uh, is um, it's really easy I mean uh, there's uh, some situation where you can actually use the keyer to grab um, a shape and some other situation where it's not really recommended uh, the most of the time uh, when you have a situation like uh, this shot uh, that I will show you in a second okay as you can see there's a lot of contrast in this shot I mean this is a um, just an example I mean but when you find the situation where there's a lot of contrast, those are the best situation to use a keyer, you know, uh, to grab your uh, um, your shape. So the first thing that you want to do uh, when you have this kind of situation when there's a lot of contrast is to bring into your script uh, a keyer. So you just click tab and then you bring the keyer. So and this is you know the properties for the keyer. Okay, so now you want to add the keyer to your footage. And then you're going to click one on the keyer so you can view from the keyer. And then you click on the viewer and you press A. Okay, because we are watching on the Alpha channel. This is the channel that we are interested in. Okay, so here in the properties, you have to go and play with those yellow line especially with the A and the B line the B is a little bit hide, hidden but you can find it okay as you can see as you can as you move the B line uh, it's changing the alpha channel of your image so we are basically uh, define our our shape so this is the fastest and the easiest situation where you can use a keyer and you can actually grab a, a really really good uh, um, shape. Just want to show you really quick. As you can see, um, you know the shape is pretty much perfect. There's also like uh, the motion blur coming, so. Uh, the high contrast situation are the best situation where you can use a keyer. And then I was playing around, I just put into it uh, another, some other footage just to, to play around. The other situation where you can use a, a, a keyer is also when you have uh, the screen replacement with green screen. And um, the reason why is, I will show you in a second, guys. So you can bring uh, uh, again. Uh, I want to zoom in a little bit so you can see the shot. And um, okay, you bring into your comp a keyer, open tab, right keyer. Then you connect your keyer, you click one on your keyer, and then you go on the viewer, you press A, and now you start to play with uh, you know, the properties. Under uh, the operation, you can see there's a lot of operation. In one of those operations, there is green screen. So you click on green screen and then you start to play with the, the highlight and the, of the and the luminescence of the green screen. As you can see, we are trying. Uh, so now they're getting dark. We try to grab that area, that area. So after that, you uh, bring in invert and uh, you try to change the channel so we're trying to invert the alpha channel and as you can see we you have your shape here I mean there's still some stuff some gray area around but you just bring a grade and then uh, you 
we need to change first of all the channels we're changing the alpha channel and then you change the black point as you can see you you have now a really clean shape that you can use for whatever you want to use it and it's actually working pretty well for this kind of thing you get details of the fingers is going with the movement so you can use it for this situation instead of being there and rotoing. I mean, this is really um, a cool way to use this uh, uh, here. Um, some situation when there, you know, here I create like four different examples, but like sometimes there are some images or some videos that are, you know, pretty flat, uh, the image, uh, and there's a lot of mid tone, so you can't really grab uh, through the keyer. Uh, any any mat so I just want to show you how it's hard to grab some details here because uh, um, I mean there's a lot of mid tones for the, the grass uh, and then uh, everything is um, a little bit flat so the keyer is having a time to uh, getting like a nice mat so those situations are the situation where you probably need to go for another solution. Usually when I start to work uh, on, a, on a shot, uh, I give to myself like a half hour of time to experiment and to try to see the option that I have, which one is the best way, and then I just start to work on it on the best uh, option that I have. And uh, the last uh, example that I want to show you is this kit that I uh, um, show you in another tutorial. But this time I will show you how to grab, uh, to combine different uh, keyer, uh, to grab different uh, details from the image. So let's say that we have uh, the shape of his profile. This is just an example. Usually when you do profile with rotoscoping you have to do uh, every single element. So you have to do the nose, you have to do the lips, you have to do the front head. But this time it's just to show you uh, what I'm trying to do. So you have your roto, and then you will combine the roto uh, with uh, um, a keyer. So I'm just finishing really roughly this roto. Okay, I'll connect there, review from there. Okay, so we have this shape, right? and then now we're gonna bring into the comp uh, um, we wanna bring the, the hair detail, they're really hard to grab so we're gonna bring into the comp uh, uh, here uh, we connect it, then we press 1, we view from the uh, the keyer and then we press A to view the alpha we start to play around uh, with the um, luminescence key as you can see we can grab some of the hair details um, Okay, we can be happy. Well, I mean, I'm happy with this result. Uh, then, I mean, this is just an example. So after that, you can invert. Make sure to change the channel to alpha. Uh, you can invert so you can grab. And then you will need another roto to grab that area. So I'm going to bring it to the comp. Um, so basically we want to mix together the shape that we did with the roto with the shape that we made with the keyer. Okay, I brought in our comp another roto that I'm connected with uh, a mask. Okay, let me look through there and we have this part of the shape and then we will use a merge we will merge these two shape in one shape and as you can see we have here guys the uh, details of the hair of course the, um, this rod is not really clean but it's just an example to show you how to mix uh, uh, to merge together different uh, um, uh, different shapes uh, made with different kind of uh, technique with the keyer or with the roto so um, uh, basically guys I show you how to help uh, help you out when are you doing a, a roto with the keyer uh, so there are some 
you know the best situation when you have like an eye contrast uh, image so you can grab your um, roto with the keyer or uh, you can um, use uh, you know you can use them for a green screen then there are some situation with uh, you know a lot of mid-tones uh, a flat image where you know you're not gonna be lucky and uh, get any uh, shape from there and then there is a uh, the option where you have to mix together different kind of um, of uh, of um, of shape uh, made with roto and made with um, you know any other technique so thanks so much guys for watching this video I hope that that was helpful for you and uh, I recommend you to uh, subscribe to this channel I wanna add a lot of more um, content uh, I will start to add also my own video production and uh, if you guys have any question leave me uh, any question any comment below and um, uh, thanks so much for watching and see you to the next tutorial bye